What's the deal, y'all? I got another story for y'all. Um, something that happened actually this summer, a couple months ago. Because um, I put a video up yesterday talking about um, if you sit on a bench, how to overcome it, how to, you know what I mean, use that motivation. Yeah. Yeah, basically just use that as motivation and, and prove prove the coach wrong, prove, you know what I mean, the doubters wrong. And this guy hit me on, on Instagram and was like, uh, so why did you leave this summer from San Terce because you wasn't starting? And <laughs> I just want to come on here and address that finally. I know I did a couple of interviews, but you know what I mean? I'm just going to let y'all know exactly what happened, my point of view. And that whole situation, um, for people that don't know, I was in Puerto Rico this past summer, um, signed to a team in San Juan, San Terce. Um, and I was out there for maybe two weeks, three weeks before I just dipped like in the middle of a game. We had a game, I think it was the second game of the season. And yeah, man, I had like in the fourth quarter, halfway through the fourth quarter, man, I just got up and left and then caught a flight to Miami the next day. <laughs> Basically, and just, you know what I mean? Told them I want my release. And it was a big thing, man. A lot of people was hitting me up, telling, calling me crazy, calling me cocky, blah, 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 saying, you know what I mean? Saying a lot of bad things about me. That didn't really bother me because I don't care what nobody think of me. But, yeah, I just want to come on here and address that and let y'all know what happened, my side of the story. And I had just got finished, bro, playing in Lithuania for 10 months, 10 months straight. This Europe round is different, man. 10 months straight, two practices a day, four days a week. You know what I mean? I've talked about it a lot. It is a grind. And I was not plan planning on coming to, uh, going to Puerto Rico at all. You know what I mean? I finished the season, man, all the way to the end. So go home, rest for a little while, for a couple weeks, take a few vacations, and then get back to work. You feel me? And like my fourth day at the crib, didn't even really get to unpack my bags yet, bro. Uh, I get a text from, you know what I mean, my agent in PR. Shout out my boy Christian. He hit me. And he said, um, yeah, I got a solid little deal for you in PR. Um, good money for three months. And I was like, man. <laughs> I was like, the money was so, it was straight, you know what I mean, for three months. And he told me, like, who was going to be on my team. And, you know what I mean, I wasn't going to really have to do too much, you know what I mean, too much too much work. I mean, I was going to have to do work, but it wasn't, all the weight wasn't going to be on my shoulders. And the money that he was talking, it was like a no-brainer for me. You know what I mean? I love to hoop. And, you know what I mean, just um, talking to him, talking to, you know what I mean, a couple other people in the gym. Um, and just knowing my track record over the last three years, feel me, I've had, I got a pretty good resume if you ask me. And, you know what I mean, it was a no-brainer for me. Like, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to go out there and be a, you know what I mean, a, a main player, start, be a starter. You know what I mean, whether it's the one position or two position, it doesn't matter. I knew I was going to be a starter. That was, that was in my head. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to go. Good money. I'm going to be in Puerto Rico. I'm going to be hooping with some good dudes. And let's let's rock. So I went out there. Everything was smooth. I was actually injured when I went out, to, went out there, too. That was another reason that, you know what I mean, I, I had a very short fuse. So I was injured. Told him, you know what I mean? I set up for a while. I was doing therapy on my wrist or whatever. And yeah, man, like the third, fourth day I was out there, the coach had hit me because he wasn't there yet. And he told me, basically, he wanted me to come off the bench. <laughs> and it kind of like took me by surprise because in my head, I'm thinking, like, why didn't I notice before I came out there? You know what I mean? And yeah, yeah so I, I kind of, you know what I mean? I tried to, to accept it and say, okay, I understand. You know what I mean? I'm going to try to be, you know I mean, the bigger man in the situation. Play my role. And, yeah, man, I did it, man. The first game, whatever. Didn't play too much. Like I said, I was injured, but still feel like I should have played more. But that's, that's besides the fact. Second game come around. And we lost, by the way. Second game come around. Um, same thing, man. I didn't play. And I was just sitting on the bench in the fourth quarter. You know I mean, the whole time I was being professional, clapping, cheering. You know what I mean? I, I, was, I, was, I feel like I was doing, <laughs> doing more. Than, than I should have, but yeah, man, I was I was happy for the guys. We, you know, what I mean, we was playing well uh, the second game, but we ended up losing in the fourth quarter. We lost, it, and I was just on the bench, just watching it happen. And I was just like, man, this is not me. This is not for me. You feel me? I'm 30 years old, man, or about to be 30. You know, what I mean, I, I got a great resume. I, I only need to be sitting on the bench after I'm already, 
damn near worn out from a 10-month season. I didn't come here to sit on the bench, you feel me? Pretty sure y'all feel me, man. Anybody would feel that way, bro. Especially if you know that European grind. I could have met the crib chilling, you feel me? And yeah, man, midway through the fourth quarter, I just said, something just clicked in my head and said, get up and leave. <laughs> so I just got up and walked out in the middle of like a free throw or something and got my shit, packed my bags and, and dipped. And they said the coach didn't even notice I was gone like till the next, the next day. Oh yeah, and I just booked a trip to Miami, bro, just to get my head off, uh, get, get my head away from everything. And to get away from everything, get my mind right and, and just process my thoughts and see what my next move was going to be. And that's what I did. And I ended up telling them, you know what I mean, getting my release, I don't want to be with the team. Basically, I didn't want to be in Puerto Rico anymore. And yeah, man, I turned, I, I like walked away from like more than 60 bands in, in three months, you feel me? Walked away from it because... I feel like I like I said in a few a few other videos, but I don't do it for money. Um, hoopers, if you're a young hooper, man, you can't do it for money. It won't be sustainable at all. You know, this grind is real. Um, so yeah, man, I do. I, I'm more about respect and the difference in what I was saying yesterday <laughs> and today. I was really talking to my younger dudes about you know what I mean proving a coach wrong and all that. When you you know what I mean you coming up early in your career stuff like that, but. I've I've been proof I've proved myself in Puerto Rico I've proved myself all over the world literally you know what I mean I feel like it was it should, it should have been a certain amount of respect at least to let me know before I got there that I would be coming off the bench you feel me and just see how I would react and if I decide to do it still you know what I mean that's my decision but I would have never done that there was no point for me you know what I mean like I said I just came off of a European season I would have just rather rest. You know what I mean, that other than being practice and then playing, you know what I mean, 10, 15 minutes, it don't make sense. So, yeah, man, I walked away from the bread, and I, I, I will advise anybody that, that, that feels <laughs> like the way I did, like disrespected, man, no matter. I mean, I can't see. Everybody got a different situation. I don't have no kids or nothing, but it's always put your respect for, uh, over everything else, respect over everything else, man. Respect yourself as a man. You know what I mean? Know your worth. Know your value. And always bet on yourself. Don't let no dollar amount define you. You feel me? So, yeah, man. I just want to come here and share a little quick story for y'all, man. Um, I appreciate everybody that's been tuning in, man. If y'all got any comments, any questions, um, drop a comment or just hit me on Instagram. Yeah, man. I appreciate y'all. Merry Christmas, too, by the way. Forgot it was Christmas again. It's just crazy. All right, y'all. I'm out. <laughs>